last time on Cowboy Ranch Life YouTube channel, the boys in the farm decided to rebuild the cattle trailer to the top-notch condition it would have been in when it was new out and rolled out of the factory assembly line in 2000. So, with 21 years of cattle trailer experience, the cattle trailer was looking a little bit abused and used, and the cattle needed a safer place to handle and to ride in. So, with that said, the cowboys decided to pull her in and put all new angle iron in it. So, welcome back to part two, ladies and gentlemen, where you'll continue to see the progress on the cattle trailer, all the way from paint to power wash to hauling cattle in the end. So, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Let's please continue. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Cowboy Ranch Life YouTube channel, and today we're going to be finishing on part two of rebuilding the cattle trailer, power washing it, painting it, and hauling a load of cows in it. So nevertheless, stay tuned with us for more, please, and I hope you enjoy. All right, y'all, so welcome back to part two. Uh, as you can see, we've got the cattle trailer drug out of the shop. We're just getting ready to paint it, and uh, we've got the first couple coats on it, but we're going to actually... We first paint the couple first coats, then we're going to power wash it the rest of the way, clean all this up, because a lot of this is just just junk that needs alpha there, and a lot of black. I don't know what causes this, but there's a bunch of black that settles on all of our items, and uh, so that would be the cause of a lot of this dirtiness. So we're going to get it all power washed off, got it painted. As you can see, I wanted to point out that there is a little bit of rust still there, but that is just part of it. We couldn't get angle iron and cover up all the rust. It's 20 one-year-old trailer so it's not new anymore but we're gonna make it as new as possible so we got that end painted on that you all can see and here's the other side I excuse the noise but my dad is power washing over there on another item so that's this is next on the agenda but we got it all painted up for the first round we're gonna wash it all and then we're gonna hit it with us paint the second time and we'll show that so ladies and gentlemen stay tuned all right y'all so as you can see this is the front of the cattle trailer the gooseneck is right there nevertheless these aluminum uh, pieces to hold on or to cover up the metal seam well not supposed to be that way so there's one good pop rivet and the other four have just eventually worn out and broke. So I took a drill with a drill bit and drilled all the old pop rivet holes and out off the aluminum piece. We're going to get some pop rivets and pop rivet that all back in so then it'll look like the other side without any movement. So nevertheless, that's what we're working on right now. All right, y'all, so Justice is drilling out one of the old pop rivets. There we go. So one hole, pop rivet hole, drilled out and ready to go. All right guys, so how pop rivet works is, if you guys can see this little ball at the end, it is connected to this piece and the pop rivet gun or whatever you call it, pulls this, which pulls that little BB in the end through its metal casing, which swells the casing, and then when it gets tight and big enough that it can't come anymore, this will pop off. And that may, what makes a pop rivet. All right, so let's see it so now in action. So now we the pop rivet. We drilled out the hole as you all saw. And there's one pop rivet applied, like brand new from the factory. And there is one aluminum piece fixed with a drill bit and some pop rivets like new again. All right, y'all, so we're hauling some cows out to a local sale barn, as y'all seen. Um, we fixed up the cattle trailer and we're getting it ready to 
go. So uh, we're loaded out. We're just rolling up and down the road here. Thought I would video that. So uh, with that said, we'll get to the sale barn and then we're going to kind of video uh, us unloading and maybe show you guys some pictures of the cattle trailer loaded with cows. So as y'all can see, Dad's ahead of us there. He just went around the corner with a load of cows in the big trailer. And we got the little trailer on the back loaded with cows. I think we were end up able to fit, I think, a 10 or 11 cows in the little trailer.